Look how pretty this view is. Welcome to Bellingrad. Good morning. So I'm gonna have my most favorite breakfast. Actually, second favorite, because first favorite is obviously Bonitsa. But these biscuits right here are the most fire biscuits I've ever had in my life. Nice and thick. You got your milk. Bam, right there. Let me show you how to eat this breakfast properly. So you take your biscuits and you break it. And then you get your milk. It doesn't have to be warm or anything. The biscuits get soft like right away. I literally never eat this stuff in America. Like, I don't even drink milk there unless it's coconut milk or something. And biscuits, you know I'm gluten-free. And that's basically my special little treat. Once I go back to United States, that's it. Cutting it all out. All right, so we about to walk up all these stairs and get a real nice view of the city. So technically, I'm originally from Sofia, but my dad is from this little village called Velingrad. It's up in the mountains, so it's not so city-like. Going on an adventure. Oh, that scared me. It's just the pole. A moment of silence for the amazing view. It's just me and my tripod out here, you guys. Look at this view. Oh, there's giant flies. I can't get over it. It's just so pretty. Um, there's a hotel right up there where of course you can't see because all the bushes but um, it's like a five-star fancy hotel people pay cold hard cash to look at a view like this to wake up and look at a view like this and my grandma as you saw literally just has it just looking at her bedroom I'm literally getting attacked by the freaking wildest insects that I've never seen in my life that's a lie. I actually see them every time I come. They visit me. But still, very creepy. They're just, you don't know what they are. They're giant and nasty looking. Oh, here's the hotel. See, right up there. Nestled quaintly in the woods. Okay, I'm literally gonna show you guys this view a thousand times because I just can't get over it. Um, sorry if you're getting bored but it's just so pretty. I feel like camera doesn't do it justice. Okay, so this is one of the parks. I know that it looks like a straight up forest because we don't really have parks like this in the US, but it's just a regular old park. Outfit check, I got my DIY Nike purse which if you want to watch the tutorial, I do have it on my channel. And I'm wearing the Ed Hardy hat and just some regular schmegler glasses, jewels, jewelry. Oh, and I also got the DIY manicure, okay. And my new balances. Okay, so just a little background on my lifestyle out here. Basically, I don't have any friends and I just hang out with my dad's cousins. So I don't have any cousins. Well, I have one cousin who doesn't live here. And my dad has about like 50 cousins who all live here, who literally are all like 60, never left the city, really. And yeah, so my life here consists of me going out with my dad and meeting all these relatives and them just asking me what I'm doing with my life and asking me why I don't have a boyfriend still and where I work and how New York is. So yeah, it gets a little boring, not gonna lie. Oh, and not to mention that everybody smokes here. So as I'm being interrogated at the table, I just have this toxic ass smoke being blown in my face for about two hours straight. You know, all that holistic lifestyle I do back at home. I just come here and it all goes to waste. All right, so the community pool is behind me and you have to pay to get in, which I'm not gonna do. I just wanted to show you guys where I used to spend my summers at this pool and my grandma would freak out because it's the community pool. She'd be like, oh my God, it's dirty. Like. 
we need to go to another classier pool. Anywho, there she is, still standing. All right, so we made it to the center, which is pretty much like the downtown area. You have this big fountain, which I guess the water isn't running right now. <laughs> and um, there's a stage right there that they do performances. They might do one tonight, so you guys might just be in luck and I could film some tonight. But other than that, city's kind of empty as of lately. This is not how it was when I was a little girl. It was like crazy packed. So I don't know where everybody is. Maybe it's the pandemic. The best thing about Bulgaria is they have these fountains with like super fresh water. All right, so my last stop is to show you guys the Pazar, which is basically like an outdoor flea market, but it's just for groceries. Um, back in the day, before there were supermarkets, that's where we would go to get all the fruits and veggies and stuff. But nowadays, I feel like most people just shop at the supermarkets. So the unfortunate thing is that there's no elevator in this building and we live on the top floor, which is good exercise. But you know, sometimes I'm like, damn, it's a long way up. Especially when you're like carrying groceries. 